isn't the evidence pretty overwhelming that when we do create a competitive environment for the oil producers, that they will indeed invest? And, and obviously, the, the most prominent example would be Cook Inlet. Look at the flurry of activity there. If we had ACEs applying to Cook Inlet, that basin would be dead in six months. Yeah, what they did in Cook Inlet is they went in and they targeted certain things. You know, I mean, what we've done on, on, on Senate Bill 21 is like we've sort of shot them, shot in the air, hoping a duck's flying by. What they did in Cook Inlet, they went and they said, we specifically want certain things to happen. We specifically, and they targeted gas storage, and they gave, gas, they gave tax credits on gas storage, and they got that within a year. You know, they went in and targeted certain areas, certain development that they wanted. But you wouldn't deny that the difference between the dead Cook Inlet Basin, which we were talking about having blackouts here recently, or two, three, four, five years ago, and now the, the Cook Inlet Basin is thriving, would, you would have to admit the only variable there that changed was taxes. No, not necessarily. Technology is the second one. And, and with the new seismic technology and discovery, wow, if we just go a little bit further here, a little bit further there. Well, how, you know, how do you explain the increase in, in activity on the North Slope and the fact that for the first time in, in many years, we're not going to see a decline in the production in the pipeline? You don't give ACES or the repeal of ACES credit for that either? Um, you know, I think there's, there's some, I, I'm always happy to see some activity up there. And I, I think there's a, you know, what I want to see is, uh, I want to see either them, uh, I really, initially it was designed for a new, what is called new oil. Uh, oil is not already discovered in, in the basin. So, you know, that's what we we're hoping to well, see. Well, we're happen. getting new oil in the pipeline. That's what the decline yeah, is. Yeah, we haven't Chris. seen any, we really well, haven't seen any new oil yet. Well, how can you say that when the, when the, there was a, a considerable decline every year and that stopped? How's that not new oil? Well, um, the numbers are, um, uh, how should I say this delicately? Um, yeah, I, you know, I think some of the forecasts, some of the forecasting that was gone on, uh, I mean, it's pretty clear what some the DOR has done differently this year. They sort of changed their numbers on forecastings. And but we're not talking about forecasts. Low. We're talking about actual oil. There's actually more oil now. The decline has stopped. The oil is actually in the pipeline. It's not a forecast. Yeah. And and that's and, and is that new oil down or is that just is that oil that's already there? Well, it's new oil in the decline has been stopped and and out of the same basin. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, but it's probably new oil. the same. It's it's yeah. You know, I think that I think that uh, the difference is that we're looking at doing nothing to incentivize new companies coming. But you to can't Alaska. ignore the new oil. We 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 made our tax competitive, our tax environment more competitive. All of a sudden, this decline that we were all worried about, they closed the pipeline in ten years, possibly. Uh, and but but had, now, all of a sudden, we've reversed the train, yeah, we, chain, and the only that, thing that's changed is we fixed ACEs. 